always had everything easy. You've always been respectable. I don't think you could possibly conceive of what my guilt is all about. You don't think so, do you? No. No, I don't. I mean, I know that you've tried to help me, and I know that, that you mean well, and I think you think you know what you're talking about, but you don't. You make it all black and white. You make it sound so very simple. Karen. Honey, I never meant to imply that it was simple. And for your information, I do know what I'm talking about. Oh, for heaven's sakes, why do you think I befriended you when I found out about your prostitution? Because I think you're a very kind lady, and because I threw myself at your mercy, and mostly because I think you love Larry a lot. Yeah, well, I'll tell you something, that's only a little part of it. It's, come as a, it's going to come as a big, big shock to you to find out that I've felt a great deal of compassion for you. I know exactly how you feel, because I have been there, Karen. I have known all that guilt and that shame. You... you were a... No, no. I did not literally prostitute myself, no. But I used to pick up men in bars, Karen. In bars that would make the river rat look like the Ritz. And I did it all under the name of Nikki Smith. I, uh... I, I think we have to go back. I'm, I'm absolutely lost. Yes, well, so was I. That was part of the problem. You see, about, uh... Actually, I'm very surprised nobody else has told you this. About nine years ago, I had a nervous breakdown. On the one hand, I was Victoria Lord. I was Victor Lord's very proper daughter, living under a very strict moral code. And then on the other hand, I was a girl named Nikki Smith. A very cheap, vulgar, and promiscuous creature who wore bright red lipstick and very trashy clothes and had absolutely no inhibitions. Incredible. So you see, I can identify with your double life because I had one too. It wasn't exactly the same. You know something, when I look back on those days, it wants, it makes me want to be sick. <laughs> do you know one of the things I used to do as Nikki, my, my handwriting changed. I used to write in a, in a sort of a, a childlike scrawl. It's a mess. And I wrote threatening notes to people. I mean, really threatening notes. I think that's what shocked me the most, because it was the only visible proof I ever had that Nikki existed. It shocked me to know that I could be so mean. And even though it was my hand, it was somebody else who was writing the notes. Amazing. Yes, but it's true. <laughs> it's very true. So now you can believe me when I say that I know what you're going through. And believe me, I know how hard it is to face people when you have a past that you're not particularly proud of. Oh, Vicky. I'm so sorry I apologize. No, no, don't apologize. You didn't know. And I did not tell you so that you'd feel sorry for me. I just hope that you will learn what I learned. Karen, you can live through anything. Anything. And believe me, when your troubles are all behind you, you will realize that you are so much better off than people who've never had to live through anything. Hey. Uh, sorry. I was with, um, when sh she said something about Tina, I got all, all choked up. I thought how difficult it must be for a 16-year-old girl with her mother like that. That's pretty tough on Vicky, too. She was pretty shaken. Uh, yeah. She's got to be the most wonderful, supportive person I think I've ever, ever known. I, I agree with you, but uh, what brought that one? Well, she just, she knows what to say. She knows how to help people. She knows the right thing to do, the right thing to say. Vicki, you can't tell Joe. You can't tell anyone. You can't. Nobody can help. You cannot continue to let Marco exploit you. No, but I, I feel now like... 
Like I can handle Marco. You just said you couldn't. I know, I know I did, but I feel differently now. It's... All of a sudden, I'm not alone. I've tried to tell people before. I tried to tell Will, I tried to tell Jenny, but I just... I couldn't get it out. And now that you know, I, I feel stronger. I feel like I can deal with Marco. But please, Vicky, you've got to promise me not to tell anyone. Please promise me no one. All right. All right. 